Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are going to be solving for a variable when the x or the variable is on both sides of the equation. As a prerequisite, you're going to need to know how to solve for a variable using addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division in single step and multiple step equations. Um, this is going to be a little bit more complicated, so um, hopefully you have that background knowledge. If not, you can check out the other videos in this playlist and you'll be able to see some simplified um, solutions for equations. So let's go ahead and solve this equation. 5x minus 1 is equal to 4x plus 1. The steps for solving an equation when you have x on both sides is first you have to get the x's to one side of your equation, then you have to get all the numbers to the other side of the equation. And then we're going to go follow through with actually solving the equation. So to get the x's from one side of the equation to the other side of the equation, you'll have to pick a side. In this case, I'm going to move all the x's over to the left side of the equation, and I'm going to be consistently doing that throughout this lesson. Just move the x's to the left side of the equation. To do that, I look at my x values, like 4x, and I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. By subtracting it from both sides of the equation, it keeps the equation balanced, and it essentially moves the 4x from the right side over to the left side of the equation. It leaves me with x, 5x minus 4x leaves me with x. So on the left side now I have x, plus, x minus 1. On the right side, all I'm left with is 1, because 4x minus 4x gets rid of it. Now what I'm going to do is get all the numbers over from the left side to the right side following the same pattern. We could also look at this as an addition um, equation where we're asked to actually solve the equation, find my variable x. What happened to my x? I subtracted 1 from it. So I'm going to do the inverse of adding 1 to both sides of the equation. Or you can simply look at it as moving the numbers from the left side over to the right side of the equation. So x minus 1 plus 1 gets rid of the numbers on the left side of the equation, and it leaves us with only numbers on the right side. In this case, um, our equation solved, x is equal to 2, and we're done. There are some more complicated equations where when you get to this point, you'll actually need to go through and solve. And we'll show you a couple of those. So here's our next uh, equation, 7x minus 4 is equal to 5x plus 6. Go ahead and take a look at that, maybe pause the recording, see if you can solve that one on your own. We're going to follow exactly the same steps that we did before. Get all the x's to one side of the equation. I'm going to move the x's from the right to the left by subtracting 5x from both sides of the equation. 7x minus 5x leaves me with 2x on the right, or on the left side gets all the x's out of the right side of the equation. Now, to get the numbers from the left side over to the right side, I'm going to add 4 to both sides of the equation. Notice how that adding 4 is going to get rid of the negative 4 from the left side. Move it over to the right side. So now I have 2x is equal to 10. You can take a look, pause the recording, and look at each of those steps a little bit more if, if you need a little bit more time to kind of digest what just happened. But now we've got an equation that we can solve. So we're going to follow the steps for solving an equation. What's my variable? x. What happened to my variable? It got multiplied times 2. So I'm going to do the inverse, which is to divide both sides of the equation. For some reason, that's not drawing. Divided by 2. Oh, that's the bottom of my screen, I guess. So, I'm going to divide both of those equations, or both sides of the equation, by 2. 2x two divided by 2 leaves me with x, and 10 divided by 2 leaves me with 5. So, doing the inverse, or dividing both sides, let's try and write it up here. Divide both sides by 2 gives me my final answer of x is equal to 5. Let's take a look at another question. We've got two more to go. 5x plus 3 
is equal to 7x plus 1. We're going to follow exactly the same steps as we go through. First off, we're going to get all the x's to the, to the one side. So I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides of the equation. This one gets a little tricky because 5x minus 7x gives me negative 2x. But I'm not going to worry about that. It will follow the same exact patterns as the other things in the future. I want to get the 3 from the left side over to the right side of the equation, so I subtract 3 from both sides, giving me my equation of negative 2x is equal to negative 2. Let's go ahead and solve it. My variable is x, and we multiply that variable times negative 2. So I'm going to do the inverse, dividing both sides by negative 2. When we divide both sides by negative 2, negative 2 divided by negative 2 gives me 1. So 1x is equal to 1, or in other words, x is equal to 1. Notice how we were able to solve that following exactly the same steps. Positives and negatives, as long as we remember the rules for them, shouldn't make us nervous, scared, or worried about them. Just continue to follow those steps. Last question for today, 8x plus 5 is equal to 9x plus 8. We're going to follow exactly the same steps. This answer will be a little bit different than the last one, as you'll see as we go through that. I'm going to subtract 9x from both sides of the equation, leaving me with negative 1x plus 5. Then I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides of this equation, leaving with negative 1x is equal to 3. Another way of looking at this is you can bring the x's over this way, and they change to their opposite. And we bring the numbers over this way, and they change to their opposite. So if you think about that, 9x went over to the left side and became negative 9x. 5 left over from the left to the right side and became minus 5. So you can save yourself a little bit of time if you get comfortable with this by doing both of those in a single step or by just sort of moving them. But essentially, this is exactly what you're doing, these steps that are shown here. But there are definitely some shortcuts when you get more comfortable with it. So let's go ahead and solve this equation. Find our variable. We know our variable is x. What happened? We multiplied it times negative 1. Now, the reason why I wrote this as negative 1x is because it's going to make it easier for us to divide by negative 1. When you actually do equations like this, they will be written like this. Negative x is equal to 3. They won't be written as negative 1x is equal to 3. The 1 is kind of implied in there because 1 times x is just x. So be aware of that. <clears throat> when we do divide both sides, we'll divide them by negative 1. And that essentially just changes the sign or makes it into the opposite. So we're left with x over here on the left is equal to negative 3. Because a positive divided by a negative gives us a negative result, our final answer for this one actually is negative 3. Let me show you that. Boom. So two things to keep in mind. One, get all the variables to one side, get all the numbers to the other side. And the rules for solving equations, you got to keep those ones in mind. Find the variable, what happened to it, do the inverse. When you follow those rules, you should be pretty okay with these types of questions. I hope that this video was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.